In the early hours of December 26, 2004, the earth beneath Aceh, Indonesia, rumbled with a fury like no other. The day had started like any other, with the sun rising over the tranquil Indian Ocean, casting a warm glow over the sleepy coastal communities. But beneath the surface, a tectonic time bomb was ticking. As the clock struck 7.58 a.m. local time, a colossal undersea earthquake measuring a staggering 9.1 on the Richter scale erupted off the coast of northern Sumatra. The world's third largest recorded earthquake, it unleashed energy equivalent to 23,000 Hiroshima-type atomic bombs. The tremors were so powerful that they shook the Earth's crust, causing it to vibrate up to a centimeter. The earthquake was merely the first act of a dual disaster. Its violent energy displaced billions of tons of seawater, giving birth to a series of deadly waves, an unforgiving tsunami. The tsunami, like a monstrous wall of water, surged across the Indian Ocean at high speed. Within 15 minutes of the earthquake, the first wave, standing as high as a two-story building, crashed into the shores of Aceh. The peaceful morning was shattered, replaced by a scene of unimaginable horror. Homes, schools and hospitals stood no chance against the relentless onslaught of water. They were swept away like toys, leaving in their wake a path of utter destruction. The sea, in its ruthless fury, claimed thousands of lives, transforming thriving communities into ghost towns within moments. Survivors recall the terror of that fateful day, the ground shaking beneath their feet, the deafening roar of the incoming waves, the desperate scramble for higher ground, and then the numbing silence that followed, broken only by the cries of the bereaved. The tsunami did not discriminate. It took away the young and the old, the rich and the poor, it left behind a sorrow that was as deep as the sea from which it came. A peaceful morning turned into a day of unprecedented tragedy within moments. When the waves receded, the reality of the disaster came into horrifying focus. The once thriving coastal regions of Aceh were now a nightmarish landscape of debris and devastation. Buildings that once stood tall were reduced to rubble. Homes that once echoed with laughter and life now silent. In an instant, the tsunami had claimed the lives of nearly 230,000 people, making it one of the deadliest natural disasters in recorded history. Each life lost was a story cut short, a family shattered, a community torn apart. The air was heavy with grief, but amidst the despair, there were also stories of survival and resilience. Survivors emerged from the wreckage, shocked and battered, but alive. They had survived the unimaginable and now faced a new challenge the daunting task of picking up the pieces of their shattered lives. Among the survivors was a fisherman who clung to a tree for dear life as the waves swept away everything he knew. A mother who held her children close and prayed as the world around her was consumed by chaos. The days following the disaster were marked by a desperate search for loved ones. Families were torn apart, not knowing whether their missing relatives were alive or had been claimed by the sea. It was a race against time, a test of hope against despair. The scale of destruction was overwhelming. Across the region, entire communities were wiped off the map, infrastructure was decimated, and countless people were left homeless. The economic loss was in the billions, setting back years of development and progress. In the face of such an immense tragedy, the world watched in shock and sorrow. Yet as the news of the disaster spread across the globe, a wave of compassion and solidarity swept in. Nations, organizations, and individuals from around the world rallied to aid Atse in its darkest hour. It was a testament to the power of humanity, a beacon of hope amidst the ruins. The world watched in shock and sorrow, but it also rallied to help. In the face of unimaginable loss, the world responded with open hearts and hands. The catastrophic events that unfolded on that fateful day in December 24 years ago, the earthquake and tsunami that devastated Atsa, triggered a wave of compassion and humanitarian aid that spanned the globe. In the immediate aftermath of the disaster, the international community rallied together to provide much needed support. Aid workers from every corner of the world descended upon Atsa, bringing with them not only essential supplies, but also a glimmer of hope for the survivors. These brave individuals, often risking their own safety, worked tirelessly to provide immediate relief. They delivered food and clean water, set up emergency shelters, 
and provided critical medical assistance to the injured. Their efforts in the face of such overwhelming devastation were nothing short of heroic. But aid came in many forms. Countries from around the world donated generously, providing financial assistance to support the massive relief operation. Non-governmental organizations, charities and everyday people contributed what they could, whether it was money, resources or their time. Moreover, the survivors were not passive recipients of aid. They too joined in the relief efforts, demonstrating a resilience and determination that was truly inspiring. Despite their own losses, they helped their neighbors, shared what little they had, and began the daunting task of cleaning up and rebuilding their communities. In the midst of such heartbreaking loss, stories of human kindness and generosity emerged. Volunteers spoke of the gratitude expressed by those they were helping, of the sense of solidarity that transcended borders and cultures. The people of Aceh, in turn, spoke of the comfort they found in the knowledge that they were not alone in their struggle. The global community showed up in force, but the road to recovery was just beginning. The immediate relief efforts provided a lifeline to the survivors, but the task of rebuilding Aceh would require long-term commitment and support. It was a journey that the people of Aceh would not have to face alone. From the ruins, the people of Aceh began the arduous task of rebuilding their lives. The landscape that once echoed with life was now a canvas of wreckage and loss. Yet amidst the debris, there was a glimmer of hope. The strength of the human spirit had not been washed away. The Akanesi, known for their resilience and determination, set out on a mission to reconstruct their homeland. And so began the process of rebuilding Aceh, brick by brick, heart by heart. This wasn't just about restoring structures, it was about restoring lives, hopes and dreams. The world watched as the community came together, working tirelessly to reclaim their land. Time-lapse footage bore witness to the transformation of Atze, a testament to the power of collective action. The foundations of homes were laid down, markets sprung up, schools, hospitals and mosques were rebuilt, gradually breathing life back into the region. Local leaders played a pivotal role in this reconstruction. Their leadership, coupled with the community's unwavering resolve, fueled the recovery efforts. They not only provided direction, but also instilled hope and optimism. They knew that the road to recovery was long, but they also knew that their united strength could overcome any obstacles. The residents of Aceh were not mere bystanders in this process. They were active participants, shaping their future with their own hands. Men and women, young and old, everyone contributed in their own way. Their stories are not just about survival, but about the triumph of the human spirit over adversity. Rebuilding Arce was more than just a physical endeavor. It was a journey of healing, of picking up the pieces and moving forward. It was about creating a stronger community, one that could withstand future challenges. But most importantly, it was about restoring a sense of normalcy, of allowing laughter, joy and life to fill the air once again. With resilience and determination, Atse was gradually restored. The city that was once a picture of devastation now stands as a symbol of strength and resilience. The journey of Atse is a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity, a story of rising from the ashes, of resilience and of hope. The 2004 tragedy taught the world invaluable lessons, and Aceh emerged stronger than ever. It was a wake-up call, a stark reminder of our vulnerability to nature's wrath and the need for proactive measures to mitigate disaster impacts. The catastrophe brought about a global re-evaluation of disaster preparedness strategies. Governments, non-governmental organizations and communities worldwide began to reassess their readiness to confront such calamities. This served as a catalyst for a more comprehensive and inclusive approach to disaster management, incorporating lessons from Aceh's experience into international strategies. One of the key lessons learned from the Aceh disaster was the indispensable role of education in fostering resilience. It became glaringly apparent that knowledge is indeed power, especially when dealing with the unpredictable forces of nature. In Aceh, they took this lesson to heart. Schools began to incorporate disaster preparedness into their curricula, ensuring that future generations are equipped with the necessary knowledge and skills to face similar challenges. 
Children are taught about the science of earthquakes and tsunamis, the importance of early warning systems and the practical aspects of evacuation and survival during such events. This focus on education has not only allowed the community to heal, but also to prepare for the future. It has created a culture of resilience, where the collective memory of the disaster is not just a source of pain, but also a source of strength and preparedness. But perhaps the most significant lesson from Eitze is the power of community. In the face of unimaginable tragedy, the people of Acha came together. They showed the world that unity, determination and collective action can overcome even the most devastating of challenges. Today, Eitze stands as a beacon of resilience, a testament to the indomitable human spirit. From the ashes of devastation, they have rebuilt their lives, their communities and their future. Their story is not just one of survival, but also of transformation. A story that inspires us all, reminding us of our capacity for resilience, for change and for hope in the face of adversity.